All right, what's up guys? Today we're looking at the brand new God Gun of Warzone Season 6. As you guys can see, the origin was nerfed. And I'm going to assume, I'm recording this video before Season 6 drops, I'm going to assume the ground loot origin is gone because they realized how broken it was. This is the new meta weapon. If you thought the origin was overpowered, wait till you try this thing out. Let me just tell you, I had the best class setup for it. It is 100% better than the origin with the right setup so we're taking a look at how to build the best class setup obviously and then we're taking an in-depth look at a couple of those attachments such as the dragon's breath round how much better are these attachments than they actually claim because it claims you get less range when let me tell you that's a hundred percent false this class setup has one loss which is going to be in your movement speed so if you guys learn anything new please leave a like if you guys do enjoy the content it does help make a better class make you better at warzone please subscribe to the channel down below so first and foremost, we're just gonna build the best class setup and we're gonna go in depth afterwards and talk about the attachments with the choke, obviously better accuracy, better range. With the barrel, the difference between the Gemini is you get worse range and a wider pellet spread, so it's pretty much pointless to use. With the sentries, obviously better accuracy, better range, same as the choke. Obviously five mu out laser, it was a very good increase to our overall accuracy and when we're firing from the hip, which in my opinion is excellent. With the last attachment, we're gonna be using obviously the Merc foregrip. It's going to help with your aim down sight time, which the other two attachments are worse than that. So it kind of helps counter that. In exchange, you also get a little bit better recoil. So when you stack it with three attachments that help your accuracy and your hip fire, you have four improvements to your overall accuracy. This is the only loss you're going to be getting here is your movement speed about 1.5% slower, which is very minimal. And obviously the last attachment is the God attachment, the Dragon's Breath Rounds. It claims you get less range, so you're gonna do more damage, which is incredible. You actually get a 300% increase to range. Let me say that again, a 300% increase to range. So the kilo is insane with getting a 60% increase. This is five times better range. This gun will two shot kill three times farther then the origin 12 will now let me just tell you that's where the overpowered comes from so like i said we'll take a look at the in-depth part with this class setup you guys will be able to see we'll showcase the difference in range you guys can see you get 300 percent which like i said is amazing that's with all the attachments stacked together and you can see the hip fire spread before and after with these attachments so overall accuracy your overall range is massively increased the only loss you get is obviously that movement speed category so you're probably wondering what the hell are the dragon's breath rounds and why are they so overpowered? And if this gun's so good, why is no one using it? So let's jump and talk about that. In order to showcase what's best about it, you guys can see it does torch your enemies, which is obviously countered by EOD. So basically when you shoot, you're shooting basically a, f a fire shotgun. So it helps burn them, which lowers their health. Similar to stopping power. We'll showcase that in a video clip in a private match. So you guys can see how that kind of works with the health. But... Like I said, the Dragon's Breath round is insane. Let's talk about it. All right, so we're gonna take a look at is in a private match. It, to me, it's a little bit easier for you guys to see because you can see both screens. The one thing I just tried and figured out was I can actually burn this man to death from a pretty far distance. If I aim all the way in and I shoot, you guys can see on the screen, it's still doing damage. What I found is it actually killed him. That's 15 meters away, but I actually found I killed him with the fire. I didn't even shoot him. I shot him and then the fire was burning him alive and ended up killing him. So the biggest factor here is finding out how far that two shot kill range actually is. Obviously with stats and a little bit of math, I was probably pretty close. I think it's about 13 meters. I want to back up a little bit and basically see one, two. So you can see I'm at seven meters right now. So we're gonna respawn. We're gonna try and find how far that two shot kill range actually is. So it took nine meters. Nine meters is where you can two shot. Like I said, with the origin was five. So that's pretty incredible there. We're gonna try and find, I think I just did 11 meters and wasn't able to two shot. So we're gonna do one more test here. Let's see if there's anything as far as point blank, if I can get a one pump. Okay, so point blank will one shot kill to the head, which to me is a little bit sketchy. You know, if you can one shot kill something, I wanna see how close I have to be to be a one shot kill here. This is pretty much incredible that the Dragon's Breath is much better than Origin in my opinion. So. 
one shot kill at point blank is to the head. So we want to back up a little bit. See, that was from three meters away. I can get a one shot kill from three meters away, which I really want to do a test here and find out how far away I really have to be to get a one shot kill. So you can one pump shot. If you can one pump somebody from three meters away, that's a little bit ridiculous. So we're going to back up a little bit here. So it's a two shot kill. So about three and a half meters is your one shot kill range. Two shot kill range is about 10 and a half, 11 meters based on my testing. So that's the dragon breaths rounds. What I want to show is a kill of him dying to just the fire. You guys can see there it is. That was the one kill I want to show where he actually dies to just the fire. So you can see I shot and then he burns alive, which I think is pretty awesome. It's probably really, really low health. So you saw the one shot kill range, three meters. Two shot kill range was about 11 meters, which is still double that of the origin. And if you do enough damage, you can kill them by burning them alive. So that's pretty dope about the dragon's breath. Let's talk about some other attachments. And the one thing I wanted to finish the video off, which what is all the other unique attachments and are they worth using? The number one attachment, obviously the slide of hand is gonna help you reload three whole seconds faster. It's about 35% faster. I 100% recommend it. If you don't wanna use the Merc 4 grip, you wanna use slide of hand to reload a bit faster. I did find myself having to reload and having to actually take myself out of a fight without slide of hand. So it's definitely recommended if you're playing quads or trios. The other attachment I recommended is the ultralight pump does increase your stray speed about 10% faster, which you guys can see. Definitely is gonna help you in more close range gunfights. The aiming stability loss you get is irrelevant because obviously you have to be aiming down sight and with a shotgun, your hip fire is so insane. It, it really has no effect. And that to me is what makes this gun excellent is all the attachments really have no negatives. And those are basically the only two attachments you ever would really use as far as like actually stacking into your best class setup. The one thing I wanted to talk about last, which like I said, I'm making this video before season six starts. They actually claimed they buffed the slug rounds in Warzone. According to my data, we're doing the slug round attachment. Obviously you compare it to the Dragon's Breath, it's not even gonna be close. You do get a 40% range increase, but you do 10% less damage overall. So you get less damage and only 40% increased your range. So that kind of doesn't really help the gun if you're doing less damage. When you compare it to the Dragon's Breath round, so the Slug round is 100% avoid. But like I said, the best class setup, there's really only five or six attachments you would use. If you don't use the Merc foregrip, you obviously would put Slide of Hand on there. And that's what to me works makes this gun so easy to use, is every attachment makes the gun better. Kind of like if you, there was a Kilo class I made, which had no negatives. This class to me is probably the best class setup in the game as far as how all the attachments stack together if you're using the Merc foregrip. The increase in your overall stats is incredible. So like I said, this video does help you guys out in any way. Please make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Leave a comment down below what you guys think about this new meta in Warzone Season 6. Make sure you guys come follow my live stream over on Twitch. Trap God is my username if you guys want to come watch me play and live stream every day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Talk to you guys.